Okay, so you got it right here. Okay, so here's what we got, guys. The uh, Kenmore 70 series, and we have a part number right here. We'll show you here shortly. But what's happening is once we get to the spinning um, portion of the washer uh, cycle, the agitator is not moving. The bottom part does, but the uh, top part does not. So luckily, this is a very inexpensive and uh, easy fix. So we're going to run you through it, okay? So this is the top portion that's broken, and inside here we want to fix what needs to be replaced. So this uh, green little lock ring, we're going to pull up. That piece comes off, and this little cap here, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver, okay, and you find the area that you can just kind of put that flathead in and pull that cap off. And if you look inside, there's our problem. Our agitator dogs have broken and positioned themselves nowhere near where they need to be to actually spin the agitator. So I'm using an 11 millimeter socket, okay, and we're going to pull this part off. <coughs> okay, so that is free. Okay, I'm going to pull the entire agitator out. Okay, I'm going to pull it right down here. And I'm going to place my feet right there and I'm going to pull this top off. Okay, and there's the locking rig for the agitator dogs. And if you position it right here, you're going to see everything that falls out. Okay, so here's our problem. Here's the replacement part. I bought this at a local Whirlpool store. Um, you can order them online at Sears. Unfortunately, uh, the Sears in our local area, uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, um, is an online pur purchase only, so they didn't allow us to buy it. So here's the new parts. Okay? And those are the old parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this black piece. And we're going to try to dig out the broken pieces here. Okay, there's four agitator dogs total. Okay, there we go. We're going to place all four of them into the little slots. It's self-explanatory once you pull this part off how they're supposed to be entered in position. Okay, so once the agitator dogs are in, this black ring brings it all the way down, and that locks. Okay, there we go. And from here, Just like that. And there it is. Okay. Okay. So this is going to go back to its original spot there. And this piece goes right back on. Okay. All right. Okay, once the agitator is placed back into the washer, we just go ahead and tighten that uh, piece back. OK. 
Okay, that is tight. And there it goes. Okay. Cap goes back on. Top piece goes back on.